In this demonstration, I will show how to use while loops. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a while loop for input validation. So in this um, particular application, I'm developing um, a BMI calculator, a body mass index calculator. So I will, um, now if you want to know how to calculate the body mass index, have a read of it. it you need to have uh, the person's weight in kilograms and the person's height in meters. So we need to get those values, weight and height. I'm not going to call it mass. I just want to keep it uh, fairly straightforward without going into physics. So you will say system.out.print, enter weight, kgs, like that. And the weight, uh, you will say keyboard dot uh, next double because it's a it's a double value and then we have to get the height so enter height and uh, meters and I will change that to height all right so now if I do this I can get the the, the, the weight and the height of the person and I will need to calculate the BMI so the BMI would be um, the weight divided by the square of the height so I can just say, say height times height if also I can say uh, math dot power raised to the power of 2 I can do all that uh, but this is fairly general um, it's not that difficult so here it is working so I haven't printed the, the value so you won't get a you won't get a result out of it but um, if the weight is 90 and the height is um, 1.8 uh, you would get some value so the issue for our uh, issue with this code is if the user enters something negative um, for the height or the weight uh, they, there is a problem so when we talk about input validation in the most basic sense we, we assume that the user will enter the right type of data but not in the correct range um, of course there is no end to how things can go wrong they might enter um, characters uh, instead of numbers you know but uh, when we generally say we want to use um, loops to validate input we the, the first thing that we do is we ensure we assume that the values are in, in the correct um, type so they will be doubles if you're asking for a double uh, but they might not be in the correct range like I have entered over here so you might think okay well I can use an if statement I can say if the weight is less than zero or less than or equals to zero uh, they're dead um, or I can um, tell them to re-enter so you might think you can just copy and paste this code and get it to work so you can print an error message saying error re-enter weight um, and you so it should be okay but the problem is if you enter a negative value it'll say to re-enter but uh, what happens if you enter a negative value again um, it's not going to uh, keep on asking it will just keep on going to the next thing so we have no way of knowing how many times the user will get it wrong to give some credit to the user so uh, what can we do here um, are we going to have a bunch of if statements like that uh, no so you can actually get the same effect of having um, multiple if statements by replacing the if with a while now as soon as you do this the only thing that changes is actually of course uh, that is now called while uh, but other than that the only difference is it's not going to move on to the next thing after doing the code that's inside the the body of this so it's just going to go back and it's going to ask that question again so uh, just to do a quick dry run of this you first get the user to enter the value anyway then you say while while there is a problem, the same, so the condition is no different to what you had with an if statement. 
right? So uh, if there is a problem, so this one we should say uh, condition here describes problem with input. And as long as there is that problem, we ask them to re-enter. And it's going to check again. And if the weight is less than or equal to zero, it's going to it'll ask again and ask to re-enter. So this way we are guaranteed uh, a valid input. So if I, I can keep on entering negative values, it'll just never get tired. It'll keep on asking. I will get tired and I will eventually enter something valid um, and then it'll move on. So um, and we can do the same thing for uh, the height. Now keep in mind um, you need to isolate the inputs. In other words, if they, you, you take an input, you have to validate it then and there. You don't want to validate it later on. What I mean is, now let's say that um, we are doing the same thing for height. We will say if the height is less than or equal to zero, there is a big problem. And we will say uh, error re-enter height meters, just that. And then we ask to height here again. And there we are. All right. So this is the correct way to do it. We keep um, keep the, the, the inputs and their validation code separate. Um, what we don't want to do is you don't want to take the width and the height. Uh, you don't want to take the width and the height inputs first and then go on to validate them uh, sep later. Uh, and you definitely don't want to mix them up. You don't want to say something like while the weight is less than zero, or height less than zero. You definitely don't want to do that because that's just just going to lead to a big mess to uh, keep it short. So you don't want to take the inputs. You don't want to take multiple inputs first and validate them later using the loops because um, why ask for an, uh, something else if what they have entered now is wrong? If the weight is wrong, why ask for the height and tell them later that, oh, you know what, that weight that you entered earlier, there was a problem with that. Can you re-enter that again? Why do it like that? When you can um, ask them then and there uh, for um, what they need to enter. So this way, uh, what you're doing is with the while loop, you are putting a barrier. You're saying that, okay, there is a problem and you are not going any further. You have to fix it up. And as soon as you fix it up, it just moves on. And we don't need to worry about going back and doing validation and checking stuff all over again. So just to run this again, show how it works. Uh, if I enter negative value, I can keep on entering negative values. Uh, it, it won't get tired. It'll keep on asking. And then for the, the height, I can enter negative value. I can keep on entering negative values. And then um, I can uh, eventually give up and say, okay, the person's two meters tall and you're good and if you really want to complete this application you can actually print out the BMI value but that's not the purpose of this demonstration but um, that's how we do it now if you want to add additional checks just like with an if statement you can do that you can say um, all right so if you're a person uh, while the height is less than or equals to zero uh, or height is greater than three meters, I guess not many people are three meters tall. Uh, it's really up to you what that value can be. Uh, you can say like that. So it, as long as the height is less than zero or less than or equals to zero, or the height is greater than three, which is uh, which we don't expect anyone to be, uh, we keep on asking. Same story with the weight. Uh, we can say if the weight is less than zero or the weight is greater than uh, what's what's the I don't know 400 kilos. <laughs> That's a very heavy weight, uh, but let's just say um, 400 is the upper limit. So you can have a lower limit and an upper limit. And it's also really important to state at this point you need to uh, assign these to variables. Don't have them as hard-coded values. So I'm going to say 
uh, uh, weight min is 0, uh, weight max is 400, and height min is, um, I don't know, how tall can a person be? Let's say 0.1 meters. Don't want to discriminate. Um, height max is um, 3. So you will then, you can uh, use those variables instead. So weight max and this will be height min and height max. So um, another thing that's worth noting here is if you're going to say it like this, now the way we have written it, we're saying that the minimum weight is acceptable. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, the minimum weight is not acceptable, but the maximum weight is acceptable because it only says there is a problem if the weight is greater than the maximum weight. So um, we can now change this to less than, uh, or alternatively, we can we can make them less than or equals and um, greater than or equals. So it's just for consistency. It's nothing to do, um, not, nothing too serious, but uh, just to keep things nice and consistent. You can do that. So uh, again, to recap very quickly, a while loop is a repeating if statement. We use a while loop uh, typically in situations where we don't know how many times we need to ask a certain question or check a thing. So we can't repeat an if statement for an indefinite number of times. But so that's when we use a while loop. And um, when you're using input validation or when you're doing input validation using while loops. Get the input first, check it then and there itself before asking for more inputs. So the while loop becomes a barrier. You don't let any code go beyond that point if there is a problem with that input, in this case, the weight. I hope this explained things.